It's really key where you start that line and where the line ends. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how to cut some short hair. And we're gonna go over tons of different short hair techniques. So a couple things that we're gonna be doing today, guys. I'm gonna be cutting with the Tri-Razor for one. Uh, Tri-Razor is a patent pending tool, it's right here. It cuts three different ways. It's a triangle shaped razor. So 100% cutting, 25% uh, cutting on one side, 50% on the other. You can create texture, create movement within the haircut. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to just cut lines as well through the short hair. And then I'm gonna do scissor work on top. So we like to mix it up a little bit, create different textures in the hair uh, to create the end result look. So here we go. How do we determine where to section off the head? All right, so where does my guest want to part her hair? I'm going to comb straight back just like this. I'm going to talk to her and uh, figure out where she likes to wear her hair. And she's telling me that she likes to wear it on the left-hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comb the hair back, get the hair flowing in the direction that I want it to go, and then I'm going to draw my line straight back and just pick where I want this parting to live on the eyebrow. Now, for me, uh, we're gonna make this a little bit more of a modern look. I'm gonna pop the fringe up. It's gonna have a little bit of volume. So I wanna go deeper with the parting. So I'm gonna go just to the edge, kind of where it arches up, right? There, and I'm gonna draw my line back. So now, got my side parting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way around the head and what I like to do is, again, get the hair moving in the direction I'm gonna take my parting because that allows my comb, or the front tooth of my comb, to flow through the hair. So instead of fighting it and not getting a clean line, I can do it this way. Now we've also got our crown of the head here, right? So I wanna go mid crown and then over to the edge. I'm gonna take my last section, which is going to be basically a continuation of this top point here, all the way down to behind the ear. So I'm gonna follow with a diagonal line. What do I do first? I comb. Comb the hair in the direction I want it to go. All right, so that's the only sectioning we're gonna have in the head. I'll show you guys, because this is such a 50-50 uh, thought process, I wanna share with you guys how to cut it symmetrical and then also how to cut it asymmetrical just so you guys can get a feel for both. I like to use a little conditioning spray when I use the Tri-Razor. Gives me a little bit of glide. Um, this is Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Boomerang Remist. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take diagonal forward parting. So what way do you want the hair to flow? If you want the hair to kind of flow forward, then I'm gonna slide and cut forward. If I want the hair to flow back off the face, then I would go through, take diagonal back partings and let the hair kind of flow off of the face and slide my razor that way. Now the key thing here is with a razor, it's easy to just swipe and get a line. Now the problem here and where you might run into something that might confuse you a little bit is when you take that diagonal forward parting and you bring the hair out, it's really key where you start that line and where the line ends. So if I want it to be a little bit more graduated, when I pull this hair out, if I want the line to be a little more graduated, I need to start the line longer and end the line shorter. If I want it to be more layered and weaker at the bottom, then I start the line shorter and end longer. So that's really a key thing. What do you want it to look like? For me, I'm gonna go even. I wanna have a nice even weight distribution. It's gonna be a any bit heavier right at the parting because the head starts to curve a little bit, but that's okay. If that's what you want, then that's what you get. And all I'm gonna do is take my 100 cutting side and I'm just going to slide 
the tri-razor through. Still working, diagonal forward. And now I'm still coming straight out of the head, but the head curves even more. So I start to get a little bit more of a graduated feel on the top of this section. So what I'll actually do is now that I'm seeing that visually, continue, but as I cut, I'll give up. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna slide and then kind of stop sliding. So I just give up towards the end. Now, am I gonna leave it this long? I'm not gonna leave it that long, but once I blow dry this cut, then I can really go in and detail that and take out, but maybe leave some of this yellow or just a piece of it really, if I think that's cool. Now, where am I? I've worked my way around cut this round shape all the way around the head. Now I've gotten to this back corner. Now here's where I decide, do I want this haircut to be asymmetrical? Do I wanna continue that length to grow towards the side? Or do I want it to be symmetrical because I'm gonna have to start going back up? Um, that, and really, if I want it to be symmetrical, which is not what I'm gonna do today. I'm, I'm making that decision now because I really love how the colors are playing out on this. So I wanna have some fun with it. Um, but if I wanted it to be symmetrical, I would just then pause when I get to this corner and then do the same thing to come back. So diagonal forward, same thing through, and then you would get the same effect on all sides. Let's move asymmetrical, it's super fun to do. So here, and now when I take my tri-razor in, I'm gonna swipe and give up. So again, swipe and give up. Because if I wanted it to go symmetrical, Again, I would comb this out and then I would just take the front and cut into it and then keep working until I get to the back and connect it. Or if you're more comfortable, you could start in the back. So instead of staying stationary like I am, you could just slide and cut and then continue around the head. Just don't go stationary. What I mean by stationary is I'm gonna stay right here and I'm gonna cut the rest of this side. So here I can see my guide underneath. So I pick up some of this hair. There's my guide underneath. I'm just gonna slide up using the tri razor, cut my line. Again, working stationary because we're gonna create an asymmetrical feel to this haircut. So I bring the hair back to that stationary and I slide through. So now look, asymmetrical so far. Now we let out the top. And now we're gonna move into our scissor work. All right, so I comb that top section down that we created at the beginning. This is the side part. This is the part or the side that they're going to part the hair on. And then we went from that back point at the mid crown area around to the parietal ridge to the edge of the eyebrow here. That's how we make up this section. So here we go across the top. My guide comes from behind here. Guide comes from behind. It doesn't have to be super specific to the guide.
So now, this is where the haircut's at so far. I'd like to call this like kind of our precision work that we've done. This is not a done haircut. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow dry, smooth it. All I'm doing is just giving a little bevel to the ends. All right, guys. So now we get to do our detail work, our detail fun here. You can use the tri razor if you want to, but I'm gonna go in and do some scissor work to finish this off. So a couple different things. This gets heavy. So I'm gonna start at this area here. I wanna make this nice and light. So see how long that is? Now, why is that long? Let's break that down first. It's long because we brought all of this heaviness back here, cut it at this point. And when you cut all of that hair that sits on this round right here, it's obviously going to be falling heavy. So I wanna go in and I wanna lighten that up. So here we go, comb the hair down, half close of the scissor, working through. So look how soft that gets just from that little bit of a technique, not closing all the way just a half. I also want this to be able to come and sit back a little bit. And now what are we gonna do with this tail? Because I know it's driving everyone crazy. I really liked that yellow piece. So for now, I'm not really gonna cut it. So when I'm cutting dry hair, I originally, when we developed this, I called this the texture 50 side. I really should have called it the dry cutting side because this exposes the most of the blade. Even though this is 100% cutting, that means when you put the section in, it'll cut 100% of the hair, but it's more comb-like and it has more tension. So when you use the 50 texture side, you get more exposed blade. So if I'm just cutting like the edge, like as soon as I touch that, the hair just shoots right off. So if I'm trying to just kind of cut into it or just remove a few little pieces, I like to use just the edge or the corner of that. Here's my little yellow piece. So now what am I gonna do with that? All right, so now a little bit more point cutting I'm gonna do in this round area and then I'm gonna do something with this. How are we going to tie in a good old fringe here that will pop. So I wanna tie in a fringe with some volume that'll pop. That volume, I kinda of want it to sit right around here because you can see the volume that happens on that short side. So if I can kick some volume up in this area and then just have that disconnect as the asymmetrical feel, I think that will really pull this whole haircut together. First off, I'm gonna take a round section out, clip it away. Now we got a U shape right there, and I'm gonna cut into some of this length. I'm gonna start blowing it dry just to get some volume.
So now I'm gonna finish this using Paul Mitchell Spray Wax, which you guys know is definitely one of my go-to favorite products. 